You may have seen the popular drink Prime hit the markets with huge demand throughout the country. Your child may be asking you for Prime, you may be wanting to try it yourself, but is it a healthy drink? Incidences of tooth decay, especially in children, are rising rapidly throughout the UK, and with difficulty accessing dental care, should your child be drinking Prime? Prime comes in seven flavours and the ingredients profile in each drink is very similar, with the exception being differences in flavourings. When we're looking at the risk of tooth decay, there are two important factors in any drink. The first is the sugar content and the second is the acidity. So let's look at the sugar intake in today's video. Each bottle contains two grams of sugar. Sugar is the leading cause of tooth decay. Acid is produced when bacteria break down sugar in your mouth and this acid that forms dissolves the tooth surface and this is the first stage of tooth decay. As usual, the higher the sugar intake, the more sugar for bacteria to break down and more acid in your mouth, resulting in a higher risk of decay. Let's compare Prime to other popular drinks that children consume. Prime has 2 grams of sugar per 500ml and Ribena has 10.7 grams of sugar per 250ml. Prime has 2 grams of sugar per 500ml and Ribena with no added sugar has 1.1 grams of sugar per 250ml. Prime has 2 grams of sugar per 500ml and Capri Sun has 8.8 .8 grams of sugar per 200ml. Prime has 2 grams of sugar per 500ml and Capri Sun with no added sugar has 2.6 grams of sugar per 200ml. And lastly, Prime has 2 grams of sugar per 500ml, Fruit Shoot has 1.4 grams of sugar per 200ml. So the key thing to note is generally Prime has a lower sugar amount compared to most well-known kids drinks. You should actively ensure that you and your child's sugar intake is not too high. If it is, any sugar in any drinks should be actively avoided. If it is high, or if you have teeth with cavities, any sugar in any drinks should actively be avoided. There are lower sugar drinks available, even lower than Prime, such as a cordial, for example, which is heavily diluted in water, or just drinking plain water. Another thing to note is Prime Hydration does contain electrolytes, so to gain the most benefits of the drink, you should be exercising routinely to help replenish lost electrolytes. The acidity of the drink is an area I need to look into further. Acidic foods and drinks can cause erosion of the teeth over time, which looks like this. A perfect example is if you place a tooth in a glass of Coca-Cola, after a few days the tooth will dissolve. Acid tends to cause your tooth to lose their minerals, making your teeth more likely to crumble and break down. I did reach out to Prime Hydration to ask about acidity, but I've not had a response yet. I have a great idea for a video to test the acidity of Prime drinks in the meantime, so make sure you subscribe to the channel as that video is going to be made very soon, and I think you'll like the tests that I'm going to do. So to summarise, Prime Hydration, if drank on occasions, does not necessarily increase your risk of tooth decay. If you do have a high sugar diet anyway, if you're not taking care of your oral hygiene, then you're more likely to develop cavities in your teeth, and in that case, Prime and any other sugar containing drinks should be avoided.